Hey, in this video, I'll be showing you how to deploy your app for deploy your app to Amazon Fire Stick. So first things first, go to your file, build settings, and make sure you switch your platform for Android because that's what it runs on. And first you need to define your input. So we have a player here and I have a player script. Opening up a second. And uh, this is where my player input is defined. So it's saying if it's not a mobile platform, but we want it to be a mobile platform. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. So this is basically getting the touch input, but we mm -hmm. only have a remote and we don't have touch input with it. So I'll just comment that out. Looks like I have to look away. Let's see. All right. So, so it's a float. Give it a return type. Basically, just copy this here and just put it here. Since that's all my game needs, I'm just gonna go ahead and play it so you just have a feel of what the game's like. I only need two controls, and that's the horizontal axis, the A and D. So playing. Just move left and right, swerve, and death. I've got store and all that stuff in here. <clears throat> all right, so that's all we need. Uh, go ahead and open up your browser. See if I could find the API. Amazon developer input. And search, go to controller input with Unity. And you could see the few things you could define with the buttons. For the remote, all you could use is the middle button. That's the select or joyst joystick button zero. And the horizontal and vertical axis defined by fifth axis and sixth axis. And scrolling down here, we could see the rest are not supported. So you're just limited to all that. But if you have a, a third party Bluetooth controller or an Amazon Fire Stick controller, you could always define a whole lot more with them. Uh, so going back to Unity and go to File, no, Edit, Project Settings, Input, we could see our horizontal axis is already defined. We have a different one here. So if you're defining your if you're using a controller or plan on using a controller, this type is set to joystick axis. You could always copy the settings and add them there. Or just change your input type to joystick. So we have it set here to keys. And we got our AD defined. There's a left and right and stuff. And what I did was change this axis. Change the axis to it says it's a fifth axis both ways, so positive and negative. So I just changed my axis from X, I think, yeah, X, to fifth axis. And that's it for my input because it's pretty basic and I could actually use just the remote controller on it. So my script, I just defined the input, returned input.get axis horizontal. And that's going to say, oh, hey, it's the fifth axis over there. And I'm going to return that type. So let's see. All right, so it works. I'll go ahead and build. Go back to build settings. And, you know, define all that just like you would an Android app. And yeah, go ahead and build. So wing hit fire stick, I'm just going to overwrite that one. So while this is building, I'll, I'll show you some settings we'll have to do on the fire stick in order to site load the app. And uh, Okay, so first you have to go to your settings on fire stick and go to Go to your device, I think. Developer options. Make sure 
ADB debugging is turned on and apps from unknown sources turned on too. Great. So once that is done, you could, oh, one more thing, go ahead and get your IP address from the fire stick from devices. No, not, not devices. Yeah, it's still from devices, then about, then network. Once you navigate to that, to the side, you'll find your IP address. Try to copy that somewhere. For keepsake, I'll just put mine in a notepad document here. All right, so that's it for now. Let's go back to setting it up. All right, so our app is uh, our app is done building, but first we need to go back to the Google document here for Firestick and uh, documents, devices, Fire TV. I'll put the link to all this in the description, so you don't have to go searching for it like I am. And uh, getting started with game. Oh, just just skip the overview. Go to set up your development environment. First, you'll need to download the Java development kit. Just click that button here, and go to downloads. And you could download this one. This is the one I'm using right now. Eight point one six one, I think. But I did download NetBeans and download that too. So. I do have that installed, so go ahead and install that. Next, you'll have to in install Android Studio. And just download that too, and make sure it's installed. Um, so next, we'll have to set up our ADB. All right, this could get complicated, but it's super easy once you just follow along. We've already done this settings and turned on ADB debugging on our Fire Stick. Next, we will set up the Andro Android bridge. So go for Windows. We're not using a USB, so skip to step three. Skip for Windows. Um, OK, Dock this here. All right, so once you've downloaded Android Studio and done the setup, it's going to open up and look like this. What you need to do next is select configure SDK manager and copy your SDK location like this. I'll go ahead and put in a notepad right next to my IP address here. Save that and add the extension backslash platform tools. Platform tools and go ahead and copy or is it copy that yeah we'll, we'll need it in just a second okay next thing we'll do is go to start and type view advanced system settings here make sure that's opened and make sure you go to environment variables select your path that's right here under system variables in hit edit what you will have to do here is add a new path and paste that link we just copied i do have mine right there once you do that you hit okay i think Alright, so, but I do already have my path, so I'll just go ahead and delete, and just delete one of them here. So that's what you do, and just hit OK, OK, OK. So you set up your environment variables. The next thing is we'll have to set up our options for connecting the ADB. And... Uh, OK, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're setting up options now and, and we're connecting uh, through a network. If you're on a Mac, you could use terminal and stuff like that. But if you're on Windows, CMD, open up command prompt. Um, where my built files are, and are in my, my build files are in my D drive, so first you will navigate to your D, that's D, and a colon, open that up, and then select this, copy, and you'll hit CD space, I'll paste the link right there. So my folder is now set to my D drive here. And so what we'll do next is follow this command here, and it's first one's ADB, kill server. Hit enter every time you type in a command. So that's good. And ADB start server. Hit enter and make sure it's connected. Start it successfully. And the next one is ADB connect and then put in your IP address. I'll just pull mine up here. Connect and then just include the IP address of your Fire Stick. Hit enter. It says connected to your IP. Great. So we're up to here right now. You could verify if it's connected by typing ADB devices. And it says it's connected to my device. All right, moving on. All right, so that's basically it from there. And we're almost done. What we'll need to do next is make sure we go to a file folder, copy the name of the APK file, so control A and copy. Make sure you select the .apk extension too. And final command is ADB install. file name. Hit enter. And watch that load. We'll switch to our TV to make sure it comes in. So. I'm just back at my home screen right now and still showing this progress. So it's past 100% and it's just buffering for a bit, I think. All right, so success. We should see it show up. See it, it just showed up right there. And if you go to your apps and games, you'll find that your new app is installed. If you don't find it there, you can always go back to settings. Go to applications. Uh, manage installed applications and just find it from your list and launch application. All right, we get your game playing right now and I'll hit play. We could see my horizontal axis buttons are working just fine. Store back. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. I hope this has been helpful and good luck building games to a big screen. Thanks for watching.